Drivers on a major local roadway get a big surprise this morning. A cow crossing the Western Hills Viaduct. The chase and the aftermath closed the upper deck of the bridge for about a half an hour starting at 1115. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch was there and reports on the animal's ultimately unsuccessful bolt for freedom. This is where it started, the Tri-State Beef Processing Plant. And this is where it ended. Well, there was a report of a cow that was running loose on the top of the Western Hills Viaduct. Motorist Ron Shouts was going eastbound on the viaduct and so cow or westbound. Coming down the road here, I'm on the viaduct, and this cow is coming down the road. Just coming right down the road here. Here he comes. See, we're out here on the viaduct. Here he comes. Where's he at? There he is. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> and here comes the guys after him. Police say the cow escaped from a pen at the slaughterhouse with plant employee Antonio Lattimore in vehicle and then foot pursuit. An effort to corral the cow did not work. And the animal charged him, so he shot him with a uh, 22 long rifle. Uh, the animal actually, I think, fell on him. Animal tried to get up again and tried to charge him again, so he shot him for the second time, and that, that put the animal down. This guy's got a gun. He's got a gun. Now, it's not like the beef facility is right on the other side of the viaduct. Bay Miller Street is in the west end, so the cow had to make it through city streets for slightly over a mile before getting to the viaduct, coming across, and uh, meeting its demise on the other side. This cow caper brought back memories of another escaped cow in 2002, ultimately named Cincinnati Freedom which was successfully captured and lived out its days on a farm. Today's cow was not so lucky. Anonymous in name, but for a few minutes anyway, a cow on the lamb. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. And police say the employee that chased and shot the cow declined medical treatment even though the cow hit him in the leg.